Planet Dolan. From fists full of worm corpses to kids who are terrified of toilets, the Planet Dolan crew reenact some of the best true stories from our subreddit about funny things we've seen kids do. I'm Doopy, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Stork Spring Babies. Andy Matians was once babysitting a friend's kid, and they were eating lunch together like normal, when she noticed that the little boy's right hand was curled up into a strange, half-opened fist. Andy Matians asked him what he was holding, and he showed her what was in his hand. He was holding a squishy ball of dead worms. There were over a dozen of them just squished into this nasty, unmoving ball. She was horrified and cautiously said, the worms have to go back to their worm families. The kid was upset, but finally agreed to put the worms back into the garden. Number 9 was submitted by That Champagne Feeling. One time, when Dolan was at the local fair, he was in line waiting to use the porta potty. After a few minutes, a kid walked out of the toilet with something in his hands. Dolan watched as the kid started washing his hands with the object. Apparently, this kid thought someone had accidentally dropped soap in the urinal, but Dolan quickly realized the kid had picked up a urinal cake and was rubbing it all over his hands. That poor kid will be forever unclean. Number 8 was submitted by Coral Reef 1. Pandora was at the grocery store once when a little boy ran past her holding a bag full of walnuts. He ran up to his mom who was loading her groceries onto the checkout. The clerk spotted the boy hiding behind his mom's shopping cart and asked him what he was holding. The little boy says very proudly, What's this? It's my nutsack! He was a bit too young to understand why everyone burst out laughing. Number 7 was submitted by MacGyver106. When Emoji was very young, he lived in a house with his cousins and their son. His cousin was a very hyperactive child and had the tendency to take off his diaper and run around in the nude. One time, he stood in front of Emoji's mom and stared at her directly in the eyes with a blank expression on his face as he whipped out his wiener and peed all over the carpet. It wasn't funny at the time, but luckily they can laugh about it now. Number 6 was submitted by Xenonaut21. Danger Dolan's brother once had to check the spelling of his young cousin's homework. The problem was, the kid didn't know how to spell the word deck, as in the thing you keep a pack of playing cards in. Dee Dee's brother read in horror as the kid wrote things like, I have a big dick. A lot of people like my dick. My mom's friend likes to sit on my dick. It was an innocent mistake, but still very alarming to read. Number 5 was submitted by Hiccup90. When Pringle's sister was still in diapers, he could tell when she had dropped a big stink bomb. She'd start grunting and sound like a 90s modem connecting to the internet, and her face would turn super red. When she was finally done, she'd get this intense look of relief on her face and grin like she knew whoever would have to change her would have to deal with that horrific smell. Number 4 was submitted by Alpha Sophie 123 the funniest thing Honeybits ever saw a little kid do was when her brother found a can of spray paint. He was playing in his bedroom when Honeybits went to see what he was up to. When she walked into the room, it looked like someone had been murdered, so she ran to her mom saying there's red everywhere. Her mom found her brother sheepishly holding a can of red spray paint behind his back. Luckily, they cleaned most of the paint off, but there are still streaks of it on the wall in the rug. Her brother thought it was pretty hilarious, but her parents thought otherwise. Number 3 was submitted by Glitchy Brains. One Thanksgiving, when Hellbent was 8 years old, his brother rushed into the room out of nowhere, sobbing hysterically to their dad that his stomach felt really bad. It hurt so much, he yelled. A moment later, Hellbent's brother let loose the raunchiest, meatiest man fart he'd ever heard. Even his dad looked impressed. His sobbing expression immediately changed into a cheery grin. I feel better, he chirped, and ran off back to play with his Legos again, leaving Hellbent and his dad to just stare at each other in astonishment. How could something so huge have come from someone so small? The world may never know. Number 2 was submitted by Skittering Teeth. When Melissa once worked at a daycare, there was a little girl that would do a thing called Egg Up. Egging up 
That meant she would lay face down in fetal position with her forehead touching the floor and her knees tucked under her chest. Every time she got scared, she would do this. The problem was that everything scared her. The shallow end of the pool? Scary. The movie theater? Terrifying. Nap time? Horrific. The sound of a flushing toilet? Don't even get her started. It was never resolved, either. For the duration of her time at the daycare, it was the norm to see her curled up on the floor. Poor Eggy. Number one was submitted by me. I have a lot of nieces and nephews, and they're always doing ridiculous stuff. But the funniest thing to me is listening to them try to tell a story while being distracted by something else. It goes a little something like this. Ahem. Hey, um, um, did you know that, um, uh, the other day I, um, uh, he, um, did, hey, 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 did you know that, that, um, that he, yeah, the, the other day that guy, that guy, do you know that guy? <laughs> After a good ten minutes, they finally get their story out, and it has nothing to do with literally anything. For the wrong people, I can see how this would be annoying, but for me, ugh, it kills me every time. Huge thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's the dumbest thing your school has ever banned, and why? Let us know in the Reddit page link below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Rhode Island was made up for Family Guy. She had no idea whatsoever that it was part of the United States until like 4th grade when they were talking about it in class. She told her teacher that it wasn't the real place and that she was stupid and got a week's worth of detention.